Well, myopia or short-sightedness, as it's, as it's termed, is simply a blurring on the distance vision. And this can progress as, as the years, as the te- particularly the teenage years, go on. We need to look at the causes of, of, of what's creating this issue. And there's been a lot of global research which indicates that it's actually the amount of close work and the amount of up-close um, concentration tasks that people are actually engaged in. A lot of this research comes from America and Australia and actually Hong Kong. The, the evidence here is that the ciliary muscle here, which is responsible for, for focusing up close, has to, put, has to put an abnormal exertion on itself as someone focuses. And this exertion cause, causes a compressive effect on the eyeball itself. The compressive effect creates a, a situation whereby you've got a bulging on the front of the eye called the cornea, and this is what they call refractive myopia. And also on the posterior, 25% of the eyeball which is called axial myopia. There's also an increase in, in intraocular pressure here due to the posterior bulging of the lens, as well as increased aqueous production. And this further exasperates the situation. Well, this is an individual approach because it depends on what, what issues people are having with the muscles inside their eyes. And indeed those outside the eye, then we can provide an optical solution which calms these muscles. And that's namely done by using special lenses called prism controlled bifocals and a particular type of multifocal that we use for, for teenagers. It's important also that whilst we're adding help here, that we don't upset the natural equilibrium or balance that exists on the muscles outside the eye here. Fortunately, it is an ongoing epidemic, particularly in the last, the last 20 years. It's, it's, it's really developing because of the, the whole issue of, of this up-close technology-based world, whereby things, things, well, at least where it used to be intermediate, then they've become much closer with laptops, then, then iPads, and now iPhones. So it's very important to address it um, because the problems generally lie in later life with the, the possibilities of, of increased retinal detachment, with glaucoma, with cataracts. And, and these are the biggest issues. Um, we can certainly, as a profession, we can say, we can put our hand on our hearts and say that we can slow down its progression, but we can't necessarily say we can stop it or reverse it, but at least uh, intervention is, is, is the best trial. <music> One of the best things to do is go to our website where there, there are evidence-based downloads. Um, you can take or indeed pop into the practice. We can have an informal chat about your options. <laughs>